It's not very often that we see a real life martial arts knife disarm work in real life, but today we got one. Hi everyone, this is John with today's active self-protection lesson. I don't have any information as to where this video comes from, so if you know, put it in a comment and I will add it to the description. But what we see here is a no joke knife disarm that happens in real life against a man who is apparently threatening people with a knife. We're going to see here about using the five D's and how they can help us when somebody has a firearm or a knife that we need to disarm them of. And we see how fast these things go down when the chips are down. This guy here is standing here with a knife in his hand and the cop that's just to his right is going to wait for his opportunity, come up and grab it and just whip it around and get him on the ground. And that was an absolutely picture perfect disarm. And that guy clearly has trained in some significant martial arts. Everybody else shows up. They're going to get this guy down, get him cuffed and the threat is over. I want to go back and let's learn some important lessons here. One of the ones that we're going to learn is that you got to wait for your opportunity. This guy here is focusing elsewhere and the officer waits until this guy is not focused on him and he can launch a counter ambush. Incredibly important if you're going to disarm somebody here, or you're going to get engaged with somebody with a tool, you got to wait until you can get ahead. Secondly here, the officer clearly has some significant skills. He had waited a long time to be able to get his hands on that tool and he knows exactly what he's doing. He's got a plan in his head. And once he starts to execute it, you notice he throws that sucker just as hard as he can and gets him disarmed as fast as he possibly can. So we see that deflect. It was already deflected, dominated. The distraction was already there. So then he disarmed. And I notice here, if you watch it really slowly, just an absolutely excellent excellent toss there to get this guy on the ground, you know, used his momentum against him to get him on the ground and now turn him around. This officer clearly had some significant empty handed training, some martial arts training of some kind, waited for his opportunity, took definitive action, speed, surprise and violence of action, got him disarmed, got him disabled. It was a little dangerous for him personally, but he was brave. He did what he needed to, to cover his ass.